Here's Ann. So good body position. Uh, nice long reach forward. A comfortable breathing pattern. And your kick looks like it's uh, timed pretty well with your strokes. You're raising your head slightly uh, more than necessary when you turn to breathe. So uh, you could try rolling your body just a little more. Um, I'm going to practice keeping your head a little more level as you turn. Uh, just what, ha what happens when you raise your head over time in a long swim. Uh, your hips and legs might sink a little bit more than they would otherwise. And it's not it's not bad, you're not bringing your head all the way out of the water. Um, but if you can sort of pivot your shoulder uh, as you turn, that may help. Uh, most of the improvements for your stroke are really going to be in the, the underwater, the pull section, because above water everything is, is pretty good. You're reaching uh, more or less directly in front of your shoulders, which is where you want to reach to. And you're, you're pushing all the way through the stroke as well, so you're getting a good reach, good extension, and then pushing all the way through. And honestly, you're you know you're with the breathing, your your lower body is not sinking, so it might be the last thing I would really worry about. Um, you know, I know your original goal was to just finish the Ironman, but now you're realizing your fitness is a lot better than you thought it would be. So you know, working on the the catch and pull aspects of the stroke are what's going to help with your speed. And you can see your head is just coming up just a little bit from this angle. Uh, but your arms are going directly forward. Uh, left arm might be coming just slightly in front of the head, but it's barely. And the reason you want to be off the side just a bit is uh, when you initiate the stroke or start the stroke, you'll get a stronger pull angle using your lats, really. So with the underwater, uh, I have some freeze frames at the end. You can see with the left arm, you're doing a bit of what I would call an elbow drop or an elbow slip, so you're not getting quite as much leverage with that stroke. Uh, your goal with that arm, the left arm, would be to either go to an entirely straight arm pull or to transition towards the high elbow catch. <laughs> uh, right arm, more of a straight arm with a little bit of a catch angle. So that the right arm is a better technical pull at the moment. So what you're looking for with that left arm is that the hand and forearm would angle straight up and down or vertical compared to the bottom of the pool. Yeah, so that, that right arm on that pass anyway was more straight arm pull. Um, for, to work on the catch, uh, the, really the best drill is one arm drill. Think about internally rotating your shoulder. So your shoulder kind of shrugs up and, and inward and that'll help put your your upper arm and shoulder in the proper position to really get that catch with the hand and forearm. But you're not going to have any trouble finishing the swim, so it's a matter of how fast you'll finish the swim. Yeah, and a good line pulling straight back with both hands. So this is one arm drill. Uh, we talked about this one here. You were sort of staying on your side, so you want to rotate all the way to your, you know, square it off or forward, and then pull through, thinking about the high elbow angle. that's better, you're squaring off more. But when you do one arm 
you want, when your arm is reached forward, you want your torso to be flat to the bottom of the pool. Like it would be when you were, if you were swimming with both arms. much better. Looks better. So, uh, if you were to slow this down, you could see that your uh, hand and forearm don't go quite vertical through the stroke there until you get two-thirds of the way through. Uh, you want to see that in the first third of the stroke where your hand and forearm really go vertical. So that's, that's your main focus, uh, main takeaway on this. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, go back to the right side. Yep. as well. So you, are, you can see you're getting more of a catch here if you were looking, just focus entirely on the hand and the forearm. So how it, uh, some of them, some of them angles down, some of them is a little bit of a slip. When you're breathing, it's a little bit of a slip when you're not you're getting more of a catch. That's pretty typical of a lot of swimmers. So this is just working on reaching, trying to get your shoulder to hit your ear. So I think on this one you were thinking about extension Good. or reaching Good. forward as well as you can. Things are going to the center a bit more as you, as you work on that. So when, you, when you do that, just be careful that you're not. And try the same thing, but uh, your, your hands were really going to the center as you, as you came in. So that's kind of that's that happens normally. Try to do the same thing with your shoulder, but your hands hands still stay off the side. I think I was just talking about that, but just be careful that you're not reaching to the center. That's much better right there. It says if you were to rewind that and watch the oh, difference in these strokes, you could see uh, this looks smoother. So, good reach forward with that right arm, and then you start the, the catch and pull, and so the angle of your upper arm and forearm are pretty much one line, and you want to see that hand and forearm angle down earlier in the stroke. That's, uh, that's where the name early vertical forearm comes from. and then you have a good follow through or push through. So good extension and rotation here on the left side as well. And then you start the pull. And then here's where we're talking about a little bit of an elbow slip. So the hand and forearm haven't really gone vertical so you don't get quite as much traction. And there they're vertical and then you get a good push through and finish. So I hope that helps.